Good afternoon, everyone. Yet more government warnings. This off of BBC Breakfast. Get your grab bag and bug out bag ready. Grain unloading terminal port strike, Algeria. Deep snows across Europe right at the edge of summer here. Italy, Switzerland. Hail on the beaches of Italy and look at the wind on tap for the 13th of September. And how prepared are you for emergencies? My Patriot Supply, long-term food storage, the two-week grab-a-go food crate, also the four-week food supply. In addition, the entire website, they have water filtration and other items that you can prepare yourself to get ready for the unexpected. And as Brexit fears creep into the consciousness of even the mainstream media now, BBC Breakfast putting out multiple warnings talking about, do you have a grab bag that contains keys and items that come in handy should an emergency happen? And they went through a full rundown list here, obviously medicine, food, water, emergency contact numbers, etc. But then they came across with another one of the grab and go bag and then they even did reports on the street just walking up to people saying, hey, do you have a grab-and-go bag? And a lot of people was surprisingly said yes, and they described what was in their bags. And then we find it again. A third one. What is it with the BBC putting out all these warnings about getting your grab-and-go bag ready? We've seen the American government, the Swiss government, Swedish government all telling people, get emergency food supplies ready from anywhere from two weeks to six months. Check this one on the list as another one, mainstream. And just at the same time, incredible winds on tap for the 13th of September, barreling into the UK. Now take a look at these oscillation waves. This is incredible, the formation. Remnant of a tropical formation. And then Dorian, the ex-hurricane, is also going to spin through that area another week after. But take a look at the wind speeds in this particular cavitation effect. Winds in that center point, at least 120 kilometers per hour. That'll be right at hurricane force winds between 70 and 80 miles per hour. And that's going to sweep over continental Europe as well, bringing more snow and unseasonable weather. But the crops are still standing in the fields and we're right in the middle of harvest time. So I'm wondering what would be lost at that point. Well, we're going to see some initial reports here of a strike unloading terminal for corn and soya meal operations here in Algeria. Now, there are a lot of ports in Algeria, so look how many ports there are along the coast here. This is one of the major ones for grain deliveries inbound. Now, is this another way for dock workers and others unhappy with what's going on to be able to now affect inbound food into the country to create greater change than just blockading goods? To be announced. It's just started this morning, so we'll see what happens and how long it persists and if there actually is anything that comes out of the action of the port workers. Beautiful winter wonderland. Oh, wait, September 9th. That's the last week of summer. Autumn officially starts on September 12th or September 15th, depending on which calendar you follow. But for me, this is still another summer snow event. Six inches up to three feet in many areas. Take a look at these cows walking through this global warming fest on the ground there. And those of you in the States, every meter is three feet. So you can do the conversion yourself there. Also 2,100 meters. What's that? 6,300 feet. Switzerland, morning snows. Look how deep that is. A foot and a half to two feet registered there as well. And then we come down to Italy. Beach is covered in unusual squall-like formations. Looks like snow, but that's actually hail covering the beach in Finale Ligure. And that's up in northwest Italy. And also John Clarkson putting a nugget out here. Only three of the last 20 years have seen this much snow measured at Spencer's Creek during spring. Now, we're jumping to the southern hemisphere. You're looking at Australia here. This comes off the Australian snow depth update on weatherzone.com.au. But as John continues in his writing here, these were 2019, 2017, and the year 2000. This has been the third consecutive year to see snow depth of more than two meters or more than six feet measured at Spencer's Creek. A feat that has only happened three times in the last 65 years. Do you think it's global warming or do you think it's a grand solar minimum forecast? Cooling temperatures, more snow. And here we are over to Algeria yet again. This time with hail, unusual hail. 
Algeria normally does not see hail. And if it is, it's the small pea size. Not these larger ones. This is unusual. That's why it's making news there. And I talk about the upticks in hail size and wind ferocity, out of season storms, snows, affecting crops. In the presentation, winter is coming, cycles of change and transition. The link's in the description box below. It's 110 slides with one hour and 10 minutes of commentary and an MP3 as a bundle set there. And I do thank you for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. Winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Oh, that's going to be interesting this year.